What's up, guys? ID Mac here. Uh, as you know, last uh, yesterday, MMS was released by Apple. Um, it's only for the iPhone 3G and 3GS, so this will not work for the three. I mean, for the 2G. Now, um, if you're gonna update the carrier settings to get MMS through iTunes, you're gonna need to be updated to 3.1. But uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get MMS on 3.0.1 or 3.0 so I'm gonna just start off with um, 3.1 if you have 3.1 all you have to do is click uh, click um, connect to iTunes and then click uh, the check for update button or update and then sync your iPhone after it's done and then restart once you restart um, you will have MMS capabilities um, so that's that's it that's it for 3.1 very easy but if you're on 3.0.1 like I am, uh, as you can see, you know, I'm in my iPhone 3.0.1, and you want MMS, I'm gonna show you. As you can see, I sent uh, some sample pictures, even some sample video. It works fine. Um, I'll show you how to do that right now. So. You're just gonna uh, first. You're gonna, if you're on 3.0, 3.0.1, or 3.1, and you want to use this method, you could. Um, all you have to do is just go on this website right here. I'll have the link in the description. Hi. All right. So uh, once you're on this website, just go ahead and enter it, and it will automatically start downloading the file that um, you will need to do this. It takes about, you know, 10 seconds. Okay, so it's done. Now I'm gonna go to my download folder or wherever you download it at. Um, so you get this file right here. Um, if it comes zipped, just unzip it or whatever. All right, so you have these three files. This is the actual carrier settings files that you're gonna use to update it. Before you do that, you're gonna have to open one e either one of these, um, the IPCC enabler, so your iTunes can update. Uh, if you're a Mac, just use this. If you're Windows, go ahead and click that. Right now, I'm on a Mac. I'm gonna click this. It's gonna unzip it, <clears throat> and then open that file. And then you're gonna open you're gonna open up this um, IPCC enabler with the iPhone icon on it. Double click it. Open it. All right, <clears throat> takes about, excuse me, um, five seconds. As you can see, hold on. All right, it's done. IPCC enable is finished. You can now use IPCC files with iTunes. It's easy as that. Go ahead and close that. Close this. Now just open back your iTunes up because it does uh, force close your icon, uh, your iTunes. Open up your iTunes. Uh, make sure your iPhone is connected. All right. Now, um, all you have to do is uh, hold the Option key if you're on a Mac, and hold the or hold the Shift key if you're on a Windows. So hold the Option down. Click update. Now, um, I suggest you have this file that you downloaded on your desktop, so it's easier to find. But I could find mine's in downloads. It's gonna be MS on iPhone, and then you're just gonna click on that black box. Uh, let me get zoom in. The black box with the, it says US IPCC. Go ahead and click that, and then you're gonna just choose it. Now it's going to say updating carrier, iPhone carrier settings. Oh, once it updates the carrier settings, all you have to do is uh, sync your iPhone and after that, go into your iPhone and give it a good reboot. Turn it off, power, uh, slide the power off fully, and then um, turn it back on. Now I already did all this, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip that process. But once you turn your iPhone back on, you go into... Um, your text messages 
and you you can send uh, you will see this uh, camera icon next to your uh, your, your you know message bar so um, right now I'm just gonna send another test MMS for you guys click this so take photo or video now as in take the photo here with the camera right now or choose existing I'll do a, uh, a live photo for you guys all right so I'm just gonna take a picture okay and then I'm gonna use <coughs> sorry about that now as you can see it's in the the photo is in the message now I'm just gonna write testing and send so as you can see there's a status bar just like any other text message and the speed varies on your 3G connection or your Wi-Fi connection um, it shouldn't take so long it's almost five more seconds I would say alright you get that sound alright it's done so um, now if you're the receiver of this all you have to do is you could click on the picture and now you could either save it or um, you know send it back out so it works really easy same thing with videos all you have to do is uh, click on the video and you will be able to watch it so um, that's MMS on the iPhone remember you can use this on any iPhone I mean for any firmware uh, 3.1 and uh, 3.0 and above this will work for the 3G and 3GS only um, if you enjoyed this video please rate five stars leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe because um, once the 3.1 jailbreak is released I will be doing a video tutorial on it like always step by step and very easy to follow for Mac and for PC so um, yeah, stay tuned for that if you want to stay updated for 3.1 jailbreak. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, have a good one. Peace.